Welcome back. When I visited Houston last week, I spent some time with Jennifer and Scott McKnight and their family. They moved from New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina destroyed their home. And now this family with five young boys from four to 15 years old are faced with rebuilding again. Take a look. For Jennifer and Scott McKnight and thousands of other families displaced by Hurricane Katrina, Houston became home. Now their new community is starting the long road to recovery, something the McKnights know all too well. Well, the first thing I want to say is it's really nice to meet you. I'm praying for you. Tell me, you lived in Lakeview. Yes. Which is where I grew up. Really? Oh, yeah. So yep. you were in Lakeview. Yes. And then Katrina came. Yes, it did. And how bad was the damage for you? It was pretty bad. We ended up with about six and a half feet. Fate kind of handed Houston to us. Right. How amazing, first of all, were the people of Houston to the people of New Orleans back then. Yes. It was incredible, right? It was absolutely incredible. We landed out here in the West Houston area, a uh, neighborhood over, and we were renting a house. The lady was very kind and then finally moved into this house in January of 2008. So now, it was a very is, long time. Where is your house relative to where we're standing right now? Two, two blocks back. Go to the stop sign and go left, and we're three doors down. So you're un under water again? Yes. It looks like it's probably two or three feet deep down there, right? At the stop sign, it's three, it's three and a half foot deep. Right. Are you able to go to the house at all? Every day. So you've been going and taking things out? and Every day. You guys have been a big help, I bet, huh? Yes, sir. One, one thing I noticed when I was coming down this street is there's a, there's a lot of people around mm -hmm. that, that seem to be supporting one another, mm -hmm. both physically and emotionally yes. too. Tell me a little bit about the sense of community around here. We have the most fantastic community. People are just coming out here and they're spending all of their time just walking boats back and forth That's amazing. and helping people take things out of their houses. We have a lot of elderly that still live here mm -hmm. and they've got nothing. They've got no flood insurance. They've got mm -hmm. no way to gut this unless we do this for them. Right. And so we're hoping we get them all back. Um, mm -hmm. We're hoping. Yeah. You survived Hurricane Katrina, badly damaged, but you yes. made it through. Yes. Now you went through it again. Yes. What do you say to the people who are destitute and struggling and are just at wit's end? What sort of words of encouragement do you have for them? That they need to understand this is going to be a very long, slow, arduous process. We are in hurricane time and it is flood pace, everything is slow, the water goes out slow, the recovery comes slow, FEMA comes slow, and so you really have to be patient. Right. You have to make yourself busy and occupied and productive. So mm -hmm. if you are in a situation where you can't do anything for yourself at the moment, go help your neighbor. We felt so lucky as New Orleanians to have Houston here sort of opening their doors that I, I just wanted to come and tell you I love you and tell Aww. you that we're thinking about you and praying for you because this is I know it's hard on you guys. Thank you. Thank you Thanks so, so much. much.